and we have been working with uh, Ms. Ranga then, and several farmers associations who are all represented here and I would like Mr. Rangnathan to come and talk about his reflections on what farmers need and how we can help the farming community. Mr. Rangnathan. Good afternoon and a good day. Let me briefly convey my respects to the galaxy of people who are assembled here. Mr. Krishnan, C.V. Krishnan, Mr. Mukhaire, Mr. Suresh Babu, our dynamic agricultural production commissioner, Mr. Sandeep Saxena, Dr. E. Badiwe, Mr. P. K. Joshi and our good friends here. See, let me be brief. Communication is important, knowledge is important. Knowledge is available, if it's not shared, it becomes a waste. And how does knowledge and communication help farmers? There's a good story. About 40 years back or 50 years back, radio was the only communication available. The radio was too big. The transistor revolutionized the whole communication. You remember the Green Revolution, our great man Vedanaran is here. He was also a participant in the Green Revolution. See, when the transistor was there, Japanica Indica, sowing of that, with IR8, it revolutionized agriculture in Tangier. The farmer named his child as IR8. <laughs> the first born child was named IR8. And the IR8 was not named, it was not known. Every farmer called it Radio Nell. Sir, that is the kind of community. Because the message was conveyed and it was rightly taken, assumed, assimilated and absorbed. That kind of absorption is not to be seen after that or even after the last 20 25 years. Agriculture has gone to the secondary or it's supposed to be the primary sector of economics, but I don't know primary has no relevance to agriculture at all. I am so happy in the last 2-3 years, the 11th plan and the 12th plan or the two plans which speak of agriculture in a relevant manner. For the last 20 years, we forgot about agriculture. To be very frank, Coimbatore, with the least amount of water available, produced IR-50 in 1982-83, producing the maximum, probably they created a record in the world. They exceeded the Japanese production of IR-50, and that was possible. 85, towards the end of 80s, agriculture was lost. So fast it developed and so fast it disappeared. How? Because communication was lacking. That is why we would be happy if Tamil Nadu Agriculture University has a separate university for extension. See, extension is very vital because that particular I have, I am glad to mention, the result of Coimbatore producing world record was because of one individual, Mr. K. Putuswami, joint director of agriculture, and he retired as additional director. He maintained his own records. He had his own monitoring card. One card was given to the farmer and the third was given to the field officer. They coordinated the whole thing and agriculture was a real performance there. That kind of extension is not there. We have very good buildings. Now infrastructure was available in the 80s. Now we had very good infrastructure, but no result. Because communication is lacking. I am not, I don't want to go too much on it. I don't want to waste time also. It's the right time when everybody respects agriculture. 
It's a right time. See, now we have extensive capabilities of communication, knowledge. This should be properly seen. See, last time, when the portal was under preparation, we had occasion to see how meticulously they have collected details from all over the world and they kept it presentable for the farmers to absorb. But how does it uh, help unless every farmer gets a to know what is happening there. The present day farmer lacks education. His children are educated, but the farmer is unfortunately not educated. When the child is educated, he doesn't like agriculture. This cut of incompatibility is something that is really worrying. We need food security. We should be we should not be hungry, but the hunger has can be solved only by the farmer. The farmer is not happy. How to solve the whole thing? You see, this is where I feel the industrial revolution brought about remarkable change. But the result is, it has only created avariciousness. Every nation wanted to be rich, rich and richer, more powerful than the other nation. So whatever they have earned, it has been diverted for destruction, not for construction. See, the entire budget takes care of more is spent on the defense than on production. See, this sort of thing is very unfortunate. Anyhow, I am very happy IFPRI has taken it very seriously. I am so happy because Dr. Suresh Babu is a man from the soil, from our place, from Tamil Nadu. It's not that he is going to help Tamil Nadu, he is going to help the, help the whole country, not only his country, all the places which is IFPRI is concerned. I am glad. See, this sort of portal, the mobile is going to answer the whole thing. Instead of, the even lot of donations of free gifts for this uh, ceiling fans, this uh, mixes and all those things. If everybody will see, to be very frank, today's agriculture in Tamil Nadu and particularly in Kaveri Delta is sustained because of women. The women agriculturists are the people who have sustained agriculture for hundreds and thousands of years. It is not a male. I am not uh, saying chauvinism, male chauvinism or something. I fully recognize and respect it. Our emblem of CCDS is the female labor who are planting it. Eight hours of solid work. It's a mechanical work. But see, it's something very peculiar. We are coming out with a lot of machines and other things. This will be there probably very soon. We will be replacing it. But till then, for thousands of, years, thousands of years, the agriculture has sustained, the food crops have been sustained because of women folk, not by anything else. The cattle, women folk, these are the people who sustained agriculture. That information is there now. The electronic development should definitely help absorb it. That is because anything conveyed in mechanical terms, the farmer doesn't accept it. You have to make him accept it. Trend also. The technological development has to be made acceptable. So we have to probably, if pre, should not stop with this. They should interact with the support of the government and all other institutions. They should interact more with the farmers. Make it to, because every panchayat should have this uh, uh, this uh, particular modern gadget like uh, uh, email and all those things should be accessible there. Of course, our government, the vision 2023 speaks of connectivity in all possible manner. This should be probably out of this 15 lakh crores of rupees. Agriculture is hardly about 2 2.5 percent. It uh, probably the importance is not realized, I think. It should be made more. Probably, the IFPRI has arranged this meeting in the right time that uh, our government will also think in the right terms to increase this and make the connectivity possible to every uh, village and the panchayat. So every panchayat should have 
the weekly meetings of agriculture, the future of production of this thing, and all lead farmers should be there present, compulsory. And the study take the leading uh, technological development, infuse it in that and make it possible. So, I think I should not waste my time also, it's not because other, uh, we are eagerly waiting for uh, Mr. Sanchera to speak how the government thinks about it. We would be very happy to listen to him and I appeal through all of you and through Mr. Sanchera, the government should realize and make agriculture more potential and important and uh, see competent. Mr. Hare, he said his competency he highlighted, which the farmer should be competent to accept everything and develop himself and develop the country to greater heights of productivity. Thank you. And also bringing to our attention what the farmers need practically on the ground. And in fact, uh, it is with Mr. Ranganathan we started interacting in the Kaveri Delta area and he guided us to so many other farmers organizations uh, also. We, following that, we conducted about 27 focus group discussions with farmers to find out exactly what farmers need. It was last May, uh, very hot, uh, but farmers were gathering in 27 villages uh, in the Delta area where we could uh, find out first hand from the farmers um, what, what is needed. Now, without wasting much of uh, the time, we, uh, as uh, Mr. Ranganathan said, we are very eagerly waiting to hear from uh, Mr. Saxena. And uh, we met him yesterday and talked about the programs that Tamil Nadu government is implementing. It is not just the public sector that we would like to work with. Of course, public sector is the largest sector dealing with the farmers on a daily basis. But there are a lot of players just in this room, very important players, NGOs, farmers organizations, private sector, we can all play an important role. And IKP uh, institution, the, the ICAP, um, is willing to learn from you, work with you, and to develop this further.